One of the ways that I'm testing out if you can make money with AI is simply writing blog posts in Facebook using ChatGPT. And what I need to do and what I include are actually images. Now, the images that I'm creating are simply insane. In this video, I'm going to talk about these images. I'm going to show you how to quickly make these because it's really easy. And I think you'll be blown away about how good these images have gotten. So watch this video if you want to learn a little bit more about making AI images, if you want to learn a little bit more about potentially making Making money online. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. All right, so basically what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you some of these images because I'm blown away about how good they are and how easy they are to make and how you could potentially put together stuff of your own. So if we take a look at my screen here, uh, as I mentioned, one of the ways that I'm testing to make money online is by creating Facebook blog posts about dogs and what they can and cannot eat. And so, for example, one of the blog posts that I have is, uh, can dogs eat pepperoncini peppers? And if we look at my screen here, you're gonna see these are AI images. Now, at first glance, you can't really tell that these are AI images, and these are really good. Um, it, it just blows my mind at how good these images have gotten, but it's not just this one. If we scroll up, um, <laughs> dog with Reese's, uh, puff cereal that looks like Reese's puff cereal and it looks like that that one kind of you can tell that's more of AI art but these are these are really good and they're really easy to make now I'm using version 5 of mid journey it is a paid tool it's only $20 per month but I mean it's really simple and the only limits that you have are the limits within your mind and even that you could ask ChatGPT to give you some ideas but the only limits you have right now with putting together very good art is the constraints of your mind. For example, we can just come up with an idea. We could say um, dog with, um, we could say dog with gold chain. I need to put in imagine to calibrate it, but <clears throat> you can see this is gonna turn out really cool and it's not difficult at all to do. So I just typed in uh, the prompt, which is imagine dog with gold chain. It's gonna give us a few different ideas. Um, what you see on the screen now is a jellyfish tattoo design Again, very detailed, it looks incredible, and it doesn't take long. So um, this will probably take about 30 seconds to render. Once, it, once it's done, we'll come back and I'll show you how, how cool this is and maybe some ways that you could monetize this type of image. All right, so if we take a look at this, and I typed in another prompt, dog is a pirate, to see what pops up. But if we look at this, this actually looks pretty cool. These all, dogs all have different gold chains and you don't really have to do any work or know anything. Now, what you can do if you want to is you can put in different parameters like the dimensions that you want to use, maybe some background features. You could say a dog with a gold chain on a white background and it's actually going to spit out something different. But it's just amazing how far we've gotten with AI. We could even say dog with gold chain in New York City to get different variations of the same thing. Now, as I mentioned, I typed in dog as a pirate to see what we get, and this will render in a couple minutes, but you start thinking, well, how can I monetize this? You could go over to a website like Etsy, or you could even sell these if you have a few dollars, you could sell them with Facebook ads, but you can see like people are, are buying dog uh, canvas, canvas like this, or dog wall art and you can see that people are buying this type of stuff look at this one um this is a, a cat dressed up as a as someone in the military this is something that anybody could create and you could create a bunch of different ones and you could potentially make money now obviously i'm not guaranteeing you that this will work for you or for anyone but you can see that that the people are using a combination of ai and you know their their ideas and the crazy things that go on in their minds to help them make money now if we look at this one this one's pretty cool look at this um and, and you could do this before you would need to be able to kind of have an idea of drawing and painting in order to put this together now we could say dog dressed up as a as, as a military whatever and we could even get more detailed and say doberman pincher dressed up as a military sergeant but if we come back over here now we've got dogs dressed up as a pirate and to be honest with you you can't really tell that these this is generated with ai this is insanely good this is frighteningly good now what i want to do is i'm going to do doberman pincher 
dressed up as a military sergeant to see what happens and I'll come right back to you to show you again your the only limits that you have when it comes to using this software is money and your mind so we just type in imagine once again and we're going to paste this in Doberman Pinscher dressed up as a military man and once again we're going to come right back to you as soon as this is done but it's just it's crazy how good this has gotten in such a short amount of time if we scroll all the way up and we start looking at some of the originals stuff that we've done it didn't look great but now if we look this this is getting really 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 good now make sure that you're using version 5 in order to get the best output but you know this one right here adult coloring book bear and forest you could potentially put together an entire coloring book and then sell it online whether that's through Amazon KDP, whether it's through um, Etsy, or again, if you had a few dollars, you could try and sell it through Facebook and you could potentially make money. But this is really good. And I'm using this type of um, AI software to either create blog posts over on, on Facebook. Look at this. This is insane. Look at this. Um, <laughs> and if we didn't like these, we could actually ask it to regenerate and it would give us more and different ideas. But a Doberman Pinscher dressed up as a military man is, uh, works. Um, we could even, like I said, we'll, we'll give it, we'll ask for different ideas. And what you can do with this is let's say we were interested in, in dog as a pirate. We would just click on these different U1, U2, U3, U4, and it'll give us individual pictures and we can actually save this picture and then we can move on to the next step, which is maybe selling it or giving away, giving it away, whatever we want to do with it. But this is such a really cool thing that we can do and it doesn't take a lot of time. Now I've actually asked Mid Journey to give us new ideas, new information, and we'll see what they give us about the Doberman Pinscher dressed up as a military, uh, as a military man. Now, if we look at this again, this is interesting. Um, I don't know if it's better or worse than what we got before, but you can see that this is, this is the, the future. If you learn how to get good at prompt writing or script writing, I think there's a, a very good, a very good opportunity for you, either creating scripts for other people and selling them or, you know, doing them yourself and monetizing them in a certain way. Now, the reason why I, I think this is a cool opportunity is because in a lot of YouTubers backgrounds, they'll have different images that they purchased over on Etsy. Um, maybe they've done a little bit of print on demand where they've gotten it. There's a, a fairly large creator in the space where he's got a bull that's dressed up in a business suit. And, and this is something I think you could actually create with, with mid journey. So I just want to share that. I, I'm just blown away at how far we've gotten and how good the quality is with some of this stuff. Um, and I'm just surprised, you know, it was one of those things where I was working on this yesterday and it really blew me away how good it's gotten. So watch this video next because YouTube says it's going to help you grow your online business.